Hey everyone, in this second part of quick video, we are going to see how a single quick org can be integrated with multiple Salesforce org. So I have created a user path to code at gmail.com and I am going to uh, use this user in my another org. So I am assigning uh, access to this user as a super admin in Quip. So now in Quip I have a two user. I have a Jitendra and the path to code. Now, uh, once we have these two users, uh, let me clean up the browser. So now this is my org, is which is a show us off demo, and this is actually the another org. What I will do is, uh, I will just change an email to path to code. Uh, my username user is still Jitendraza. However, I'm going to change it so that I should be able to log into Quip by this user. So now this is my second org. Uh, in the my all my previous videos, I have used the org uh, with my domains are. So if I go on Quip, uh, I'm going to follow the same step. I'm going to connect Quip. I will give my website I love Nagpur and Quip.com. However, there is a problem. This step worked in previously, but the problem is this step is not working right now. So why it happened? For one org it is working perfectly, but for another org I got an error. So let's do this. Uh, what I will do is I will manually add my org. Uh, let's see if that resolves an issue. So, I have so many org. Let me see what is the password for this org. Okay, got it. So let me change my password here. And log in. So now my Quip has multiple Salesforce org. Uh, I'm saying uh, Quip is asking an access for my org and I'm saying yes, go ahead, give an access to Quip. And now I have an access, but I and my org name is actually Cloud Note 2. Uh, once I have this, I am going to say that in this org, the users can do everything they can comment, they can edit, they can delete record. So now I have a two org already, but now I have to integrate the org with Quip on this step. So I hope this is going to be helpful for all of you. If you get at the, if you get error like that, okay, and you are trying to validate, and every time you keep getting an error, use this option, Quick VPC, and we have to provide Quick Client ID and we have to provide Quick Client Secret. So what I will do is I will create a new API key inside Quip, and you can give whatever the name you want to. I am saying okay, this is my second Salesforce org, and user should be able to do all of this stuff. Let's generate the API key. Now, uh, let's see what are the API keys automatically generated. It's equivalent to the connected app that we create inside Salesforce. So let's say the client ID from Quip, paste it here, and let's give the client secret from Quip and paste it inside Salesforce. And hopefully, this will work. So if I click here, connect site, okay, everything looks good. Now what I'm going to do uh, in like my previous video on lead record in previous org, uh, we updated a page layout, we created some fill. I'm going to do the same step here. And I what I'm going to do is I'm going to do fast forward from this video and once done, I would be back. So I follow exactly same step as for my previous video and you can see I have three components in fact four components on this account record and you can see path has joined my org that notification is displayed here 
I have a two document control component if you want to edit two document in a Salesforce record at a time uh, and both document of course is going to use two different field so let's get a new document something like uh, a path to code uh, what, what what we can do so so that we should avoid confusion because multiple document in multiple org so I'm, let's say it's a document one by path to code user because this logged in user is a path to code even though my name is Jitendra my email is path to code here and my quip is working because I have authenticated my quip from this user so quip knows that this is a path to code user so this is the document we created inside quip if I go back in the quip and refresh it as you can see now I have PTC document one now it's a living document uh, any so we can stay away from attachment uh, working on attachments is really a traditional way long 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 years back these days uh, to meet the client requirement living document is one of the best document we can have and it tracks all the history and everything you're not losing any information here so few person on the same document working on the quip here I am working inside Salesforce and uh, we can do anything and if you notice right multiple users are working here multiple user uh, different users actually are working here so one user is in Salesforce another user is there the question is what will happen if another user if the two user is trying to update the same line in quip at the same time we would end up overriding each other's code so uh, let's see how that problem quip is resolving so let's say someone is uh, updating uh, so let's say what we have two users we have Jitendra we have path to code now I am back in my za org this is a previous org which we saw a video and document is related to lead record so let's do this uh, we have the lead document linked let's remove this link and let's reuse the same document which is associated to account another org so this is another org I am going to search PTC document again path to code let's see yep, so this document is being updated by another user in another org now the same document we are referring in lead in another org and how the quip is going to resolve conflict here that would be interesting to know so let's see so behind the scene quip is updating that field that we created quip field quip link field on the lead record it is uh, all the magic is happening behind the scene using lwc component if you are technical you know it's apex callouts are being made here and now you can see three lines are here and if i am trying to update the line which is a path to code another user is also on the same line quip is not allowing me uh, my cursors are not working here okay because even though i can work on the same document i cannot work on the same line here so if you see here error i am getting is this section is locked by jitendra which is another org uh, but i can go ahead and i can update any other so i can i can add some statement above or below the document but i cannot do anything on the same line so as you can see this same document is linked to lead in this org and the same document is linked to account in another salesforce org and at the same time as you have seen quip is maintaining uh, a referential uh, integrity there it's not it's uh, it's saving us from the race around condition uh, again in another org this is account org and we have we can update two document at a time depending on how many fields we have so here i'm saying let's work on the lead document because lead document was being worked on another org so you really have a lot of permutation and combination here so in summary we have a single quip org we have a multiple salesforce org okay multiple salesforce users are working on the same living document giving us the right feedback that if someone is updating that line who is that user and why that line is locked in quip and also you really don't need to create a two document component so i have a two document component on the same account record simply what i can do is link delink uh, i can go on the right side of the same document i can delink this document i can link with another document once i am done i can use some other documents as well so
as you can see this document was initially named to lead record uh, in another org that org is a org and this org is a shiva soft org so to this point we saw in case of multi org how the quick integration work inside salesforce what if you have a you have to work with salesforce inside quip so as you can see this image right now in front of me there are like total four places where you can choose uh, which salesforce record you are working with uh, either at the upper right corner you can link delink a uh, quip document with salesforce there is a live apps there is a salesforce icon or let's say if you are creating a new task or you are importing some record in salesforce if you see at the right drop down there is a word blue wolf actually that is the or name so in case of you have a multiple org and you have to choose that from which org uh, you want to integrate salesforce record inside quip that is a very straightforward all you have to do is click on that drop down choose which org you want to select to import the record or create a task or log a call and that's it quip would be able to know that okay which org you have selected depending on how many orgs you have in your quip integration it will display one org, two org, or maybe multiple Salesforce org. Hope you enjoyed this video. You learned something new about Quip and Salesforce, in, uh, Salesforce integration. Uh, feel free to comment here, uh, share in social media, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.